Hi everyone, I just wanted to take a minute to go over the Healthy Habits Plan sample. I know a lot of you guys had made a copy of it to use for your plan, which is great. That's why the template is there. But I saw a couple mistakes and some issues with some of what has been submitted so far. And instead of making the same comments over and over and over and over again as I grade, you know, all of these from all the classes, I thought I'd just throw this out here, take a look at it real quick and see if you've made any of these mistakes that you need to go back and fix. So first off, um, this initial schedule tab, this is where most of you guys have made your adjustments. Um, you do not have to do these in the morning. You do not have to do a yoga or whatever, but if you want to, you can then you're going to modify your class schedule. If it's easier for you to put in, you know, in your morning class that, you know, a day, um, you know, Spanish, whatever you have, then go ahead and do that. Put your schedule actually in it. Um, but you don't have to. The next thing, the other major thing that I saw was this section right here, uh, the work. Of course, not my freshmen, my sophomores, most of my juniors are not working right now, but some of my seniors are, and I wanted to give them an option and show them that they can plug in their work schedule into this as well, if they have a regular weekly schedule. And what I'm seeing is, in a lot of yours, you've kept it in, which you shouldn't if you don't work and if you don't have a job. And the likelihood of you happening to happening to have a job Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from two to eight, you know, the chances are slim. So if you need to get rid of this, what you would do is go up to this button right here where it says merge cells and just click on it and it will unmerge them. That way you can go about changing this and putting in whatever you need to. Um, you do not also also you do not have to feel like you have to fill in every hour of your day i mean that's exhausting i know it is but give yourself a couple things each day and some time off as well the next thing is so most of you guys actually a lot of you guys only adjusted the schedule and failed to address these other temp you know other tabs down here do you need a checklist no but if you're going to have one, I think it's a good idea. Some things that you could say, hey, I would like to accomplish this. You know, I'd like to at least, you know, learn a new song before we leave quarantine. Well, make that a goal for yourself and put it in there. So whatever some of those goals you have are, put them in and then make yourself accountable for them by checking them off. Do you have to have every day across the week? No. You can maybe just mark the days that you actually do one of these. Food journal. Um, you know, this is just a sample. Maybe you don't eat this stuff. Maybe, you, you know, you have different goals for your food. I see a lot of you guys, which is great. Um, acceptable foods and non-acceptable foods, which is a good option. But also allow yourself to, after the day is over, kind of evaluate what you're doing and say, you know, I didn't have enough water today. Maybe that's why I have a headache because I'm dehydrated. Or, you know what, now that I look and I see what I ate, ooh, there was a, far more carbs than I think, you know, I could handle. Or I didn't feel so good today and it's probably because of what I ate. Then a workout schedule. I don't, I left this one blank because, you know, this is very individualized. And then a mental health journal, if you wanted to use something like that. Uh, I'm seeing some really good ideas from some of you, but others, you're just, you all you did was just modify this first tab and you ignored all these rest. If you don't want some of these, click on the little arrow and delete the tab or, you know, rename it something else. Um, thankful you know, things I'm thankful to for today or whatever. And that's why I showed you this students who modified their schedule, you know, instead of doing all the, the individual classes, just eight to 12 classwork and then work out, take notes on something new, 
dinner, workout, yoga, and um, I'm not sure how you how you do the colored things down here, but I love the little color tabs. So diet, you know, everybody's is going to be different. Workout, look at that workout. Person's motivated, or at least is giving themselves something that when they're saying, "Hey, I want to work out today. What should I do?" You know, giving themselves a plan and saying, you know what, I'll do this and I'll do this today. Specific goals. We may be back on May 15th. We may not. So we still have a couple weeks of this to go. And it would be nice to try to develop something in those two weeks. And then they have their dailies. Did I get these done? Because not every day, I mean, every day you're not going to get everything planned. But if you set more goals than you're probably going to do, you know, like I, I think I told my freshman yesterday, I feel good if I just check one thing off of my list. So keep that in mind. What I'm going to allow you to do is to modify your um, plans if you made any of those mistakes. Um, and I'll still accept them. Obviously, I'll still accept them until Friday. So Go back, fix anything, you know, make more of a plan if you need to, and then um, I'll regrade them or I'll finish grading them on Friday. So I'm not going to go through and grade everybody's right now. I started to, it became um, repetitive saying the same notes over and over again. So I'll grade them all on Friday. All right.